Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come in, come in, come in. This is Tamika Zen. I am Tamika, and this is what you should be watching, okay? <laughs> so, you guys, if this is your first time finding my channel with what you should be watching, I'll just basically give you some rundowns of some movies and TV shows, all right, that I'm currently watching, that I already watched, that I heard people talking about, that's streaming, you know, that's trending, and, um, you know, some of the categories you may hear me put them in, but it not necessarily is, you know, coming soon, soon come out in theaters, you know, on this streaming services, honorable mentions. If you were under a rock and you missed it, old school classics favorites. And, you know, that's pretty much how we do that there. And so you guys, it wasn't that many for this, you know, week is what you should be watching. So this is going to be short, sweet and to the point. OK, I put out um, the list for June releases on um, I think that was my what you should be watching. Number 19. This is what you should be watching. Number 21. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. And so number one on the list for today is crimes of the future okay and this of course came out june 3rd um this is as the human species is adapting to the synthetic environment okay the body undergoes new transformations and mutations okay and it's accompanied by a partner celebrity performance saul tensor okay who showcases the metamorphosis of his organs mm -hmm. And meanwhile, a mysterious group tries to use, you know, um, souls notoriety, okay, to shed a light on the next phase of the human evolution. So I don't know if anybody is interested in that, but that is crimes of the future coming in at number one. Number two, I have for all mankind, which has been on. This is the third season now, and it is on Apple TV. And it's basically exploring the possibilities, all right, that might exist, okay, if the global space race had continued and where humanity would be now. Now, I have not really got to get into this um, series like that. I think I watched like four of the episodes of the first season. But because it's been around three seasons and a lot of other people have been talking about it, I figured I would tell you guys about it anyway. You know, art is subjective. We always don't like the same things. It could be things I tell y'all about that y'all not crazy about and vice versa. So just because I'm not necessarily interested in it does not mean that i don't need to go ahead and share it with you guys and if anybody is currently watching and they know more about it than me and they like yo it's good please put it in the comments and let me know about that too okay you guys i do want to hear from you all and so with these next three we are gonna go into movies that you know, we're recently out in the theater that's now coming on or streaming services. Right. And I do appreciate the fact that they are not making us wait as long as it used to be for us to get these on streaming services once they leave the theater. You know, for me personally, I had not been to the movie in years. And the first movie that I did decide to go see was Dr. Strange in the um, Multiverse of Madness. And so that just so happens to be the next one that I'm going to be talking about because it will be on Disney Plus June 22nd, okay? And, of course, we already know that this is Stephen Strange and, you know, he cast this forbidden spell that opened up the portal, okay, to the multiverse. However, the threat that emerges, okay, may be too big for him and his team to handle. So, I mean, just in case there's some people that didn't make it to the theater to see it or others that already did see it in the theater, but you may want to watch it again, that will be on Disney June 22nd, okay? And so now we also have No Time to Die, and that is going to be coming to Prime, all right? You guys, that will be there on June 10th, um, and... um. Of course, this came out in the movie theaters 2021, and this is the No Time to Die, okay? The spy film that is the 25th film, all right, in the Bond series is produced by Eon Productions and is starring none other than Daniel Craig, of course. This was his fifth and supposedly final film, so if anybody is interested in that, that will be on Prime, okay? Now we are going to The Northman. This also came out in 2022, and this is going to be released on Peacock June 3rd. And so, of course, this is from the visionary director, um, Robert Eggers, you know, and it comes to tell this story about the Northmen, which is an action filled epic, you know, movie that follows a young Viking prince. OK, and his quest 
to avenge his father's murder. All right. And so that is the Northmen on Peacock, June 3rd. All right. And then we are starting to move over to Netflix. Okay. And these are some that I saw that was coming out in June. But like I said, it wasn't necessarily my cup of tea. You guys may like it though. So I'm going to go ahead and give them some shout outs to you all. All right. And so this is Incepta. This is on Netflix now. This is one army captain who was forced to use, you know, her tactical training and years of military expertise when a simultaneous coordinated attack threatens this remote, you know what I'm saying, missile interpreter station where she is stationed at and this is her command. So if anybody's interested, that is interpreter on Netflix, okay? Moving on along, y'all, all right, we have Jennifer Lopez, okay, and Halftime on Netflix, okay? This comes out June 14th. This will be a documentary film that basically follows Jennifer Lopez all around, focuses on her performance at the Super Bowl Halftime Show. Now we get to number eight, still continuing with Netflix. This is also a documentary, and the name of this is Keep, Sweet, Pray, and Obey. Baby, when I tell y'all, you know I don't give no spoilers up here. I give y'all the general synopsis. But if you are into documentaries and you already know how crazy documentaries on Netflix can be, okay? I've talked about this before with them and I've actually discussed a couple documentaries up here. One, I think, was the um, Our Father, then I did Inventor Anna and the Tender Swindler. Honey, this one is no different, okay? This is actually about Warren Jeff a fundamentalist okay with the church of jesus christ and latter-day saints all right some of you may have heard about this story if you haven't it basically was a shocking criminal case okay where there's a criminal investigation that explores the disturbing truth all right about you know one of the fbi's most wanted fugitives and his loyal followers and how they stood by his side and we have jeff you know what i'm saying mr jeff warren jeff who was out here, you know, supposed to be a man of God, but he's married to, I don't know how many women to the point that he got their pictures up on the wall. And it's literally a lot of them that have to line up at night to give him kisses good night. Okay. Ugh. Child is a mess. But if anybody's interested in that is keep sweet, pray and obey. And that is on Netflix. All right. Moving on along from that. Now, this one, I actually got reminded about this from Miss Kira Speaks, who has a YouTube channel up here. I was watching this at one time. And sometimes, you know, you get busy life being life and me doing reviews on other shows. I got caught, you know, kind of caught away from it and wasn't watching for a while. And when she brought it up on one of her watch lists, I was like, oh, shoot, you know what? Thanks for reminding me. I got to go back to that. So I was like, let me tell y'all about it too. All right. So that is all the Queen's men that's on BT plus. And we have Marilyn Madame DeVille, who is a fierce businesswoman. Okay. That owns, you know what I'm saying? Her own nightclub. She's in this nightclub industry and surrounded by, you know, a bands of trusted employees or whatever the case may be who want her to succeed. But of course she soon discovers, all right, that, you know, more money, more problems. Okay. You know how that goes. And so that is queens all the queens men on bet plus next okay number 10 is actually coming from bet plus as well this is kingdom business all right i don't know if you haven't heard of it it's produced by devin franklin okay it got your girl my girl yolanda adams who i absolutely love in it you know it's michael jelly white in here and it's michael beach okay and so we have an exotic dancer who's basically has this beautiful powerful voice all right but of course exotic dancer check it pass you know she's rising from the pole to the pulpit and you know these church people gonna be having a problem with that and looking at her side I, okay we've heard these stories before and this is basically kind of a behind the scenes right look at gospel music industry and how we're seen through the eyes of this drama that's unfolding okay around this gospel queen who is Dan dancer jordan who of course is played by the beautiful miss yolanda adams and she's being challenged by this younger woman okay that's coming up in here this singer that has the checkered pass and so that is kingdom business on bt plus 
and you guys i just have some honorable mentions these wasn't really on the list but just figured i would throw them out there you know you have departed coming to netflix um june 1st if anybody's interested that would just be underneath you know old school i actually like that movie we also have the titanic also coming june 1st to netflix if anybody should be so interested in it okay i think they have all the mission impossibles up there right now well at least one through four you know anytime something goes to the theaters then they decide to throw you know some of the other movies that came before it up there so they do have missions of possibles up there they also have the amazing spider-man up there and if anybody was watching all american they actually just released season four of that up there and that is a really good show i've talked about that in my what you should be watching videos before as well so that's my list for today you guys now if you know anything that i should be watching Please make sure you put it in the comments and tell me so that I can check it out and also I can share can share it with, you know, some of my other subscribers as well. All right. Sharing is caring. We all family up in here. OK. And um, let me know if you watch anything off my list. If you like it, if you don't like it, or hopefully it's at least one thing that you like. If it's not, then please check out my other videos. It might be one up there. So you guys go ahead. Take care of yourselves. Enjoy whatever you are watching till next time. Tulu.